International Business and Free Trade Agreements. Post-conflict development and peace building. The role of youth in policy development and coordination. Designing inclusive policies for migrants in Europe. Engaging with the community. China and Africa relations. The relation between transparency and accountability. Political economy. Migration policy. Natural resource governance. The rise of China. Europe and Africa relationship. Finding creative solutions for today's development challenges. Because of people, for the people, in the name of people. I think it's fair to say that we all understand that we live in a world that's changing very, very fast all around us. And with that fast change, for all of us comes a certain sense of unease and uncertainties about both the structures that try to accompany these kinds of fast-paced changes, but also the policies that we're trying to develop to help us to live with this rapid change. Public policy by definition needs to be a forward-looking study because we have to anticipate the challenges that will face us. Currently we're running three programs in our portfolio of activities. We have a two-year MPA program, we have a one-year MA program and we are also participating in the Mundus Map Scheme where students are able to come here, study for a year and also to partner with other institutions in the Netherlands, in Spain and also in the United Kingdom. Public policy addresses the most profound questions of our time. They're about the distribution of resources, it's about the distribution of space, it's about identity, it's about a whole range of really serious issues which are central to communities, to nations, to individuals. What we're doing in public policy is examining what are the key problems of our time. How do we reconcile ourselves to understanding these problems? What are the evidence that these problems actually exist? But what's central to our whole mission in the school is this idea of having purpose beyond power. It's about training our students to understand that they can have a very, very important role in critiquing current policies, in raising policy problems, and in enabling policy makers to understand these policy issues from a perspective that is sensitive to the rights and the interests and the identities to a whole range of actors and institutions in society. Public policy means a lot of different things in the European Union, especially if we consider that member states and the EU itself do not share the same competences in every field of public policy. So for me, it was a very important educational experience to be able to work on concrete examples, concrete problems. In the classes which I teach, I tend to integrate different kind of in-class and, and out-of-classroom uh, activities. So we normally have, in addition to the traditional lectures and seminars and guest speakers, some field trips. One of the most important programs we have here, in fact, is this passion project, a kind of experimental effort to replace a thesis with a much longer term actual work engagement where uh, students come up with different proposals and pitch them to different clients and try to work out a kind of negotiated work regime in which they do consulting in essence for clients. I always knew that I was interested in people and the biggest challenges for me are to, to learn how to communicate, how to, to build happier communities. It's not as easy as it sounds, but I feel that the Passion Project is giving me an opportunity to practice the kind of tools that, that will be extremely helpful to take for my future career. Teaching here is extremely interactive, so we engage people in discussions and I always want to create curiosity with my students. So rather than giving them long lectures, I try to make them interested in new issues and make them aware of both policy issues but also issues in research. The opportunity that I've had to work with Uwe has been amazing. He has been able to teach me a way to frame my thesis uh, that it will have an impact in the real world with policy makers and with the, within the academia as well. What will be the future global norms that structure our living together, that structure our interactions politically, socially and economically? And for you as a student, you want to come here because we try and give you the kinds of skills and the truly global perspective on how to look at this future world that you will be living in.